Hi, this is Robert Cube. Today on Kulawad the Angler, we're making a pike fishing guide. I've been researching all the best spots, asking people on Kulawad the Angler where their best locations are for pike, because lots of people want to catch pike and they're not sure where to get them, and they want that diamond pike. So, hopefully we get one today. I've been searching all these locations, people have been telling me. Big shout out to Mel, um, the streams, uh, videos, Thanks for the tip. This is the location she told me. Also, um, Zentro, he's active in Colorado Angler official Discord. Make sure you check that out because a lot of people on there, everyone's helping each other out, giving each other tips. Also, Gemini gave me a nice location yesterday, was talking about where the best locations are, baits and stuff. So I've been going out to all these locations, checking them out just to make sure they're right because I don't want to tell you something that's wrong. And um, I've been having a lot of fun. So for the last three or four days, I've just been pike fishing, uh, trying to get this to you. So you know where to go easily to go and get pike. And uh, they're a lot of fun. They probably fight the hardest of all the fish in um, Colorado Angler. So you need good gear for them. So here we are, we're at the dock. And just where my mark is, is where the tiny pike pond is. I might just call it Pike Haven or something because it's full of pike. Uh, you have to come here in a mission. Now, I didn't want to get a diamond from a mission. I wanted to get it from actually just roaming around fishing. Uh, I like the exploring part of the game. That's my favourite part of Call of Wild the Angler. Um, just roaming around, finding locations, just fishing. I've got them jumping out in front of us already. So you know it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, that is a pike as well. Look, not a bad one either. Let's see if we can get him. Now, my favourite approach for them in game... Um, is float fishing with red worm. Now the thing is, I would say in real life, smaller jack pike to medium pike would take worms. The odd big one would, but you wouldn't solely catch them on worms. Uh, I think you could change this up. What this should do, I think, is you know the small fish to medium sized fish, I think they should have a chance of catching them on worm, but ideally make it more about bait. Um, you'd normally fish with live bait, um, depending on the size of the fish you're going for, small to medium to big, uh, or dead bait. That's what you mainly fish bait wise for them, or you would lure fish. So they're what you'd really go for them. You wouldn't really target pike with worms, but they work well in this, so that's what we're going to do. Now, the depth of the float doesn't really matter too much, two to six on the depth, and um, make sure you've got your drag set up right i'll go over my tackle set up in a minute and we'll also look at all the best locations as well but yeah i've had some absolutely epic battles in the last few days stripping off 70 80 meters of line in the big open lakes they are a real challenge uh, but a lot of fun but when you're playing them for 25 minutes and then it goes around to red bar and you can hear the line and rod creaking like it's going to snap you start sweating so they're a lot of fun, but they're a challenge, so you have to get the right gear for them. But there's our first northern pike. It's only a silver, but it's a great start. So red worms are working well in game. But yeah, I'd have red worms work for small. So bronze to silver, I'd have them work for those for a chance. But the bigger fish, I'd have you'd have to use different baits. And I'd, I think you could do this for other species as well. It, Add to the variation of the fishing. I'm sure lots of changes will come to call a wide angle, but I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Let's see if we can get another one, shall we? Let's have a look at the location, shall we, in my setups. So, rods. This is what we're using right now. So, I've got that spinning rod, that reel. Make sure you match all your gear up so you can tech all the right equipment. A nine kilo line. That's just about right. You can handle the bigger fish, um, but you still get a good fight out of them. So let's look where we are. So this is where you start, a home location. You come down to the dock, get your boat over, and this is a tiny pond. And you can't mistake it, because look, it's in this like heart-shaped lake. So that's where my uh, location is. Just showing you my fishing setup. We're going to try around this other side. Now, the good thing about this location is if you move around the lake, and depends on the time of the day and the sun, 
you can see fish in certain positions better um, this seems to happen on a lot of lakes so try and use this to your advantage with the shine off the water it'd be nice to have polaroids or something like that so you can see the fish but I've just seen a really big pike jump down here where is he or where is she because the bigger ones are females basically you didn't know that males would only go up to about eight or ten pounds whereas females in real life are the, are the true gaffers come on this looks big I had an absolute monster just where my rod is pointing um, on the edge of this and um, I could have swore it was a diamond played it for about 20-30 minutes and um, it turned out to be a gold I was so gobsmacked and the thing was I seen it come all the way out of the lily pads take my bait it looked mint and I thought that's going to be absolutely perfect and it wasn't even a diamond I was so surprised but I've caught quite a few big golds in here but I'll show you in a minute on the map but just at the side of this pond on the actual big open lake on the edge of this island on the left um, it's a really good location for pike but let's see how big this is but generally what I do with a bigger fish I, I normally put down to 20 with this setup on my drag you generally won't get snapped at that but at the start you, you have to watch out because you don't know and they can go like a missile especially in big open water and uh, don't be surprised if you get 70 meters a line ripped off your wheel um, just let them go just let them go but try and keep the line you know what I mean as least as possible you can give out but if when they're running like that just let them go let them tire yourself out and then slowly just keep pumping bringing them back in and then when you know that you're not going to break you just knock your drag up a bit I've been experimenting to see what I can get away with But you, you will get snapped sooner or later, don't worry about that. I had a big fish yesterday, snapped me, and uh, my line was on the front of the boat, and it just sort of caught it, and it snapped it. It was right underneath me, it was a really big pike as well. Come on. How are you finding Colorado Angler? If you're playing it, let me know, drop it in the comments. What would you like to see next? Drop in your top three next things for Colorado Angler. Whether it's content, fixes, tweaks, let me know drop it in the comments i'd love to see some different types of fishing so fly fishing would be one of them um ice fishing i'd be really interested in doing that um what else and i think the third thing would be a change to the game and that would be an option just to remove the strike button so you can just do it yourself um, and just have an option on off so those that want it on and just want casual fishing can have that and those that just want to fish a bit more realistic can just turn it off nice simple option and that would please a lot of people so there's my top three if you want to see any content for any of the games i cover where it's the hunter classic hunt call of wild way of the hunter or call of wild the angler drop it in the comments and the most popular option reply is what i'll do next um, I do have stuff I have lined up to do and I know what I'm going to do about and the themes uh, for each game but like I say I normally look in the comments and see a lot of people say can you do this can you do that and then that's normally coming very soon uh, in the pipeline based off what you reply. Uh, Mr Pike or Mrs Pike I should say is fighting hard. It'll be interesting to see what this is because it looks like a really good fish it's either a high gold or it might be my first diamond pike so we'll see nearly here this is so tense this bit because you know if you get them under about four meters then you, you've got them basically but look at it it just keeps getting there and it's like no nope. have we got this time no nope. <laughs> it's so tense like this so what's it going to be it is our first diamond northern pike so happy about that i've spent the last four or five days literally all day searching all these lakes for big pike i caught about 12 or 15 golds um, and there's our first diamond pike so happy about that put in a lot of effort to try and get that thanks to the tips like i said from mel um gemini and centro really helped out checked all those locations out 
caught a lot of pike but it's been a lot of fun exploring around this map looking for them found a lot of locations at work and some really nice hot spots we're going to go over the hot spots in a minute but i'm just taking a few trophy shots and um, then we're going to look at locations best hot spots and tackle set up and all you need to know basically so you can go straight out there get yourself a northern pike right so let's go over hot spots first where you want to check on the map so this location where we are now we could call it Heart Island uh, that is the pond but also on the tip of the left front is very good there's a lot of big pike there but yeah you come from the home outpost and just go over here on boat to this location and it's full of pike and as you see there's diamonds in there as well this is my setup like I say just to make sure so you know what I'm using and like I say nine kilo lines just right you can still get a good fart off them but you've got a better chance of landing them and there's the bait this is my other heavier setup just to show you but I seem to do better um, with red worm at the minute with lures that may change in the future and actually I would like it to change in the future based off what I said earlier in the video right let's go over the other locations now so there's not just that lake there's quite a few other locations but I'm going to show you my main hot spots I've discovered which seem to work really well and I've got very big pike at them so where the home outpost is all across the shore around there and the docks are good but I found that the bridge on the right just where you walk out the outpost is absolutely stuffed with really big fish and uh, on there I probably caught more gold pike just there and there than anywhere on the map so it's a really good location right next to where you start so very easy to get to but yeah you can catch them all around the front of this shore so you can get straight into pike without traveling very far um, at the start when you're just progressing and it's a good way to learn how to fish for them actually so the other location which is given to me by Gemini is this location over on the right now a lot of people have caught diamond pike where my cursor is I fished here yesterday all day and um, caught a lot of pike mainly small to medium and golds but I didn't get a diamond there but a lot of people have caught diamond pike at that right location near the island so I'm Ron McTube we've been making a pike fishing guide for Colorado the angler I hope it helps you out here's all the best locations my setup and we've just caught our first diamond northern pike so very happy about it I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye